Hi everyone, Jeremy Wynn here. I am your Grace Harbor College eLearning Coordinator and uh, I hope you're excited to join us for the spring quarter at Grace Harbor College. But I know that these are stressful times and probably a lot of you are anxious about taking your courses online um, as well as having your entire college experience be online for the entire quarter. So I wanted to introduce myself, show you a friendly face from here at the college and actually assure you that there are lots of friendly faces standing by to support you. So you're going to be okay. We're here to help. Uh, in this short video, I want to show you how you can get support from GHC staff. I want to show you how you can join a Zoom conference call, how to log into your MyGHC portal as well as Canvas, how you can check that your enrollments for the spring quarter are correct, and lastly I want to show you a short course that we've prepared for you that will train you in how to be successful in online classes. Let's get started. To get support from Grace Harbor College staff, go to our website at ghc.edu and at the top of the page, look for the red Get Virtual Assistance button. This will take you to our virtual assistance lobbies where you can speak with many of the support staff that are standing by to help you. Uh, the virtual assistance lobbies are open from Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and closed Saturdays and Sundays. By clicking on any of the blue links to connect to a lobby, you will be placed in a Zoom call with one of our support staff. Um, now, if you are not calling in from a computer, if you need to use a telephone, simply use either of the Zoom phone numbers provided above, and you'll be prompted to enter a meeting ID to connect you with that lobby. So just look for the meeting ID beneath the name of the lobby that you're trying to connect to. Let's connect to the Advising Center lobby. Click the link, and you'll be prompted to open Zoom. Note that if you have instructors who are using Zoom for their courses, they'll share a similar link with you. And once you click that link, you'll be prompted to open Zoom. You'll be asked whether you would like to join with video or without video. That's up to you. I'm going to choose without video. And you may be placed in a waiting room lobby until the host is able to speak with you. I'm going to join with computer audio. And if I'm not able to hear the host or if they're not able to hear me, I can use the chat option beneath to type a message. Hi there. Now that the host has unmuted me, we can speak. Hi, Lori. Hello, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Doing well, thank you. I just wanted to pop in real quick and show our students the virtual assistance lobby so that they can see that there are other live people with friendly faces standing by to support them. Is there anything you'd like to say to the students? Wonderful. Thank you for showing students around. I just want you all to know that we're here to help. And anytime you have a question or a concern about something, just let us in through the Zoom lobby. Um, you can also email us, or like Jeremy said, use the chat function if your video or your audio isn't working. We're here to help and we're available. Great. Thanks, Lori. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too. And then leave the meeting. Let's look at how to log into your MyGHC portal and access Canvas. You can find the link to MyGHC in the top navigation bar to the Grace Harbor College website. Click MyGHC. There you'll see two options. You can sign into MyGHC now if you already know your login information. Or if you don't know your login information, click on First Time User. You'll need two pieces of information to log into your account. The first is your GHC student email address. The second is your student ID. If you don't know your student ID, Click what is my student ID and fill out the form beneath and display your student ID. Once you have your student ID, you can then fill out the form for your student email address and submit to receive your student email address. Once you have these two pieces of information, you can now sign in to MyGHC. It will prompt you for your GHC email address, which is most typically your first initial, last name, at my.ghc.edu. There are exceptions to this, which is why it's wise to check beforehand. Click Next, and you'll be prompted in your password. Most typically, your password by default will be your first initial, last initial, and student ID until you change it. Click Sign In, and you'll be logged in to your MyGHC port. Here you can access all sorts of information, such as registration and class information, as well as a link to your email, to Microsoft Office Online, and for this demo, Canvas. Click Canvas in order to log in. Once logged into Canvas, you'll be taken directly to your student dashboard. 
On the dashboard, you can see important announcements from the college. You'll see links to your courses, as well as a to-do list for upcoming assignments. Don't be alarmed if you don't see courses that you should be enrolled in in the dashboard. You'll want to check your course list by clicking on the left-hand navigation, Courses. And here again, don't be alarmed if you don't see courses that you should see in this list. You'll want to go down to All Courses, and here you'll see a list of current enrollments, as well as past enrollments if you've taken courses with us before. And all the way at the bottom, you'll see future enrollments. Now, if you don't see your courses showing up in your current enrollments or your future enrollments, that's when you'll want to contact the Welcome Center and make sure that you're correctly enrolled in your courses. But don't be alarmed if your course is not published or if it does not yet appear in your course list or dashboard. You can control which courses are going to appear in your dashboard and course list by starring your favorite courses and unstarring the courses that you don't want to appear. Once you've confirmed that you're correctly enrolled in your Canvas courses, access your course list and look for the class titled Learning Online with Canvas and Zoom. This short training will give you access to some discussion boards where you can ask questions about the campus closure, get tech support, and socialize with other students in the Hub Online. Then complete the training. The training will tell you what to expect from taking an online course, what technology and what technology skills you'll need to be successful in an online course, how to use Canvas, how to use Zoom, and what study skills and habits will you need to be successful in an online class. Finally, you'll learn how to ask for help with your online classes. You can submit a ticket to us at eLearning by using the form provided here, Submit Canvas Help Ticket. Simply fill out the form, click Submit, and we will get back to you as soon as we can. I really recommend that you complete this training just as soon as possible. Um, and remember, there are lots of folks standing by ready to support you and ensure that you have a successful spring quarter. Our number one priority is always serving our students that doesn't change even in challenging times like these. So don't hesitate to reach out if you encounter any questions or problems. Have a great spring quarter, everyone.